So last night, folks, the universe decided to hand me a plot twist straight out of a soap opera. Picture this, it's a cozy evening. My wife of seven years and I just finished dinner. She's lounging in the den, wrapped up in her favorite shows, while I'm toggling between a soccer game on TV and some household tasks. Typical Tuesday night, right? Oh, how wrong was I? Fast forward to around midnight. I decided to check in on her. By now, she's polished off two entire bottles of wine and is out like a light on the couch. I move to scoop her up and tuck her in, and that's when her eye watch buzzes with a message. Curiosity peaked. I glanced at the screen, and there it is. Ha ha, I can't do that. Your husband would knock seven shades of crap out of me. What the actual heck? I tap on the message, and I'm thrown into a rabbit hole I never wanted to enter. It's a conversation between my wife and a guy I know. Let's call him Jacket Holder. We've played five-a-side football for years, shared drinks, and generally known each other since our teenage days. This guy was always the one holding our jackets while we got into scraps. A harmless nickname, or so I thought. Scrolling through their messages, I see a lot of flirtatious banter. Nothing concrete, just a lot of wink-winking and suggestive emojis. Then, I hit the mother load. My wife, in her wine-induced haze, is begging jacket holder for sex. She's laying it all out there, talking about how she's always wanted him, assuring him that no one would ever find out, and the kicker? She's great at keeping secrets. I feel like I've been sucker punched. I can't believe my eyes. I try to delve deeper into her eye watch, but hit a dead end. Her phone's passcode remains a mystery. I put her to bed, my mind in turmoil, and end up spending the night in the kitchen, just staring into the void until I fall asleep. Dawn breaks, and I drag myself to the work van, but... I can't do it. I just can't face the day. Instead, I grab a half-drunk bottle of vodka, top it up with Coke, and head out for a walk down the disused railway line near our house. Here I am, sitting under a bridge like a troll, seething and trying to make sense of it all. If you saw steam rising, that would be me, my anger visible from a mile away. What the heck do I do now? I can't look at her, can't speak to her. It's like all the love I had for her evaporated the moment I read those messages. I feel betrayed, disgusted. It's like a dagger through my heart. Her claim of being great at keeping secrets? Who even is this person? I don't recognize her anymore. I'm contemplating ghosting her, just vanishing from her life. But there's this dark curiosity. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Do I even want to find out? I'm lucky in one regard. Our house is owned by my parents. They moved to a retirement village years ago and left it to us. Eventually, it'll be mine, so she can't get her hands on it in a divorce. Small blessings, I suppose. So now what? I I told you the idea of changing the locks and tricking her into getting locked out. Childish, maybe, but the thought of facing her feels unbearable. My life feels shredded. I don't know what to do with myself. Sitting here with this bottle, my heart is in pieces. And jacket holder? Oh, he's got something coming. This guy, who I once considered a friend, is about to find out what it means to cross me. He might have been the jacket holder back in the day, but soon enough, he'll be holding his face. This man caught his wife in bed with their gym coach. You won't believe the crazy details. Check out this video to find out more.